Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back with another one, back with another one. Um, I want to talk about the Lost Bros for a minute. And I'm just want to, you know, y'all give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let me switch something real quick. Now, back at y'all. Back at y'all. Let's talk about the Lost Bros for a minute. Let's talk about them for a minute. I had to get set up for a minute. AKA the Past Pro Wannabes. They call themselves Bros, a basic ass name. I call them Lost because them niggas lost in the sauce, man. Yeah, they deem them as terrorists, but once they made national news from Fox 26, shouts out to Ask Nathaniel and a few other uh, people I support. Man, they warned them, look, you get what you get. My take on it, you get what you get. I said this a couple of days ago, things like this will happen. It's it's over. Um, As a so-called black man, I don't mind traveling. I mean, you can still travel, but I'll never support a group that supports that weird, that weird the weirdness of their little shit, that weird shit they be promoting. And dude's already weird anyway. They try to say, is this their leader? And they, and Nathaniel was trying to say, is this their leader? Well, technically, it, it is what it is. Like, but really, the black man travels, I had to cut that dude off. He's their main leader, promoting this. So again, you know, if you got someone like that young leading the charge, it's already been hijacked by dude. Austin kind of fucked the group up by saying things that don't really make sense. Like that country's already corrupt. Brazil's been corrupt for years. They try to say Brazil's a great country. No, it's corrupt. There's some pros and cons. So there's some good things. They have a good culture, but there's a lot of cons. They have a lot of corruption in politics. So that feminist nonsense, that shit that's going on ain't going to last. It ain't going to stand. Because people are not going for it. I mean, yes, they're feminists. They say it's worldwide in certain countries, but it's not worldwide as you think. It's in countries like Western countries. If it's Western feminism, period, we're talking about the West. We're talking about in the Americas and Europe. The rest of the world, they said they got them in Erica. No, no, they don't. They're there, but they, 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 yeah, they can drive. Now, that's in Saudi Arabia. So you're talking about Saudi Arabia and Dubai. All of those are Western territories. But the whole world is not feminist. I'm telling you that right now. They're not going for that. They can't do what they want. That's why they're pushing that alphabet shit. And it's not working for them because it's backfiring. But see, that war, what you see in Ukraine and Russia, is based off a combination of a lot of things. A lot of dudes got to understand, you want to travel, travel responsibly. But always remember, these dudes effed it up for everybody. So now everybody's on their P's and Q's. And there's more division, more wars, more problems. It all started with something small. That's how wars usually start too, over something dumb. But it usually happens like that when people get caught up in their own madness and their own thrills. There you are. But you got to understand, that's how the world works. That's how the world thinks and moves accordingly. But you got to understand, that's how people get down, right? But we got to understand, this is the world that Austin wanted. He got what he deserved. OK, the scrutiny is national, but if it makes it to global, oh, they're going to really clamp this down. You saw what they did to Andrew Tate. Shouts out to Nathaniel for that. Uh, ask Nathaniel, known as the billionaire mindset. Y'all should subscribe to John. He got some good content exposing these dudes. He said the guys that were official when he traveled, they were official. They was low key. They didn't brag. They didn't do none of that weird stuff that these dudes do. Once you take a picture and highlight whores and shouts out to Ty City for this, he said, um, they're making them baby mamas and process, which is true. Like Dennis Sperling as Mr. Spurlock, wherever his name is. And he's got a Jamaican baby mama. So that right there, it defeats the whole premise of traveling. They're not building families. They're destroying families. 
I don't care what nobody said. They're not building families. If they're building families, yes, they're marrying them, but they, are they really marrying them? No, it's only a handful. How many, where's the statistic? Are they marrying? They're not marrying them. There's a reason why they're not marrying them. Because they wasn't shit over here, but won't be uh, 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 players over there. I just don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear when people defend them trying to say, oh, they're doing this. They're not doing nothing. Where are they? Y'all getting cooked right now by the rest of the so-called black community and the rest of the world. You deserve to get cooked. Y'all deserve to get cooked by me because y'all niggas been lame. That's why I stopped going on these damn panels talking about this and this and this. You niggas ain't about that life. It's only a handful of uh, content creators that I subscribe to. And shouts out to the billionaire mindset. He lets you know that you niggas ain't about that life. You ain't got no structure. That's why women always going to laugh and they don't care if you go down. That's their premise. Stop talking about it. You, you got to do the shit. If you say you for men's rights, do the shit. Don't bitch and complain online, man, because that them days is over. Because, see, the two point host space ruined what masculinity was about. The ones that really did it, we already did it years ago. And I left that shit in 2014. I try to come back and try to see what y'all was talking about in 2020. That shit died. I, I hate to say it uh, three years ago in 2020 during the pandemic. And when, as soon as they went down that road, they went downhill even further in 2021. They were saying outrageous comments, all this stuff. They said they won't travel uh, after this is over. 2022, what happened? These idiots gotten big in one year. And then this year, like this, the next year come like as known as this year right now, it's over. Y'all had a year to fix this shit. But what did you do? You failed. Failed, failed, failed experiment. Now they're labeling you as pedophiles going to Thailand or wherever else. But dudes getting what they deserve. Like, I, I can't speak on shots of the ones that's traveling, right? But I cannot speak on individuals that are doing that weird shit. They've always done weird shit. You can tell by their comments and their talking points and what they say. And this is why Aaron found be scouting you everybody's scouting you, man. Like they looking at you sideways. Every man is not going to get on board with that. Y'all got to change your name or leave it. it. Your image has already been destroyed. Okay. What image y'all don't have an image. Y'all images is looking lame and desperate. A desperate man is the most dangerous man of all time. A non desperate man is not dangerous. He can be dangerous too, but not as a desperate man. The desperate man is so dangerous and always starts fires. Things happen for a reason. I told you, 2024 elections going to change all this shit. They don't care about these clowns. And whoever's going to be president next year, I predicted this in 2021. Somebody is going to fix this. But they don't want no backlash. They don't want a war. OK, the feds only care about a select few. Yes, this country protects pedos. They try to say they don't, but they do. And the reason I say that. It's going to be a, a lot of lawyers and waste of time courts. Violence has to come. So we're in war right now. We're in war and, and this thing can collapse. This, this whole Internet thing can collapse. But you got to understand the world is dying. It's like a Fallout series. Like if you ever played the video games like Fallout, when I was I'm recently playing Fallout 4 right now, it's disaster, wasteland. Nobody wants to live in the wasteland and it's going to happen eventually. And if we keep living this way and people keep living the way they be living, it's going to be a wasteland out here. It's going to be a war zone. The essence of everything will go. It's a possibility that will happen. They don't want that. You keep continuing the way they are doing with the nuclear and all this other stuff. It's a wasteland. It's over. It is over. There's a lot of movies and games talk about things like this for certain nations. It'll be over. There'll be no such thing as an American world leader and country. It'd be over. United States or wherever. That, that shit's going to be over. The, the essence of all these countries is going to fall, too, by the, by the sword and the foot of whoever. It's historic. There's a reason why so-called black people don't get reparations. Shouts out to George Macon. He said... Um, <laughs> they know the history. Of course, they know the history. George, you have to understand they're Esau, they're Edomites. They understand if we tell who they are, it'll cause an uproar. They don't want that. They want control of people. Just like the situation with these uh, Lost Bro niggas, man. 
They're lost niggas, but they can't be saved. They've been down in darkness. I'll call them the fallen <laughs> bros. I'll call them the fallen bros. The fallen bros known as AKA passport bros. The fallen ones. It's been into the abyss, but that's pretty much all I got to say, but they get what they get. Shouts out to Red Saints, the Blues. He warned them. It's a lot of people warned them. And all this stuff is happening for a reason. But if you keep doing that same dumbass shit and promoting this shit, that's y'all's asses. Y'all get what you get. Y'all ain't got no content now. Now they lost a lot of channels and everybody's leaving and all that other stuff. It's over, man. It's I call it ball game. It's over. I'm going to name this. I'm going to name this ball game. It's over. It's over. It's ball game. Let the chess game begin. That chess game is very real. It's going to come swiftly that y'all don't like, but it's going to come back and understand that people are going to continue to do what they're going to do. But yeah, man, like, you know, that national news is not a good look. So Dennis Spurs said um, he ain't going to ruin his relationship with Fox because of these dudes. He said he wasn't invited. There's a reason for that. He lied about the inviting part. No, that's the reason. He just didn't want to back it. He knew that's a national security threat. And I think he was in the chat room when I saw a, a replay of Hardcore Tito's stream. I know y'all, you niggas love him calling him softcore, but he drops some information. It's a national security threat. If you do anything that's a threat, situation like what Austin did, it's over for you. This ain't got nothing to do with him per se. This has got to do what as men doing over there messing up for everybody and what's going to happen is it's over for everybody period it's not just black men it's over for everybody we're just the the tipping point for this to happen yeah we mess up everything well niggas messed up everything not just black but niggas messed up everything these particular niggas right here and then other groups of people do it too yes they do it too into a way lots of they ain't out there doing it that's a lie they are doing it they just here's the thing they don't put themselves on the internet that's true but they created the internet to destroy us. See, yes, we helped them build the internet, but they create the modern internet to destroy us. They don't care about us like that. It's not, it's not a big deal. That's why I say being indifferent is the way. Shout out to Tassi. Yes, I'm indifferent to the situation when it comes to this topic. And my thoughts on it, it's over for them. It's been over. It's been over since they if they was doing that shit for years. You know how many years they done done? This thing was probably sit under for years and years, and then they finally did. And once they had that stupid meetup in 2021, I'll never forget it. In 2021, they had that stupid meetup. Who was buying the name for the master? People started panicking. Oh, it's over. It's been over. I try to tell you the, the manosphere, the so-called manosphere, y'all, y'all looking at it as it's been dead. I don't know why y'all niggas talk about this. This is it's dead. It died in 2020 when I was trying to see what was going on. In 2021, the downfall just spiraled way down. It's no, it's not what it used to be. No, the space has been there. You, you niggas believe if the space is still alive, you're delusional. It's been fucking dead. Y'all need to get out of la la land and quit being sheep. It's been over, man. You got different spheres divided. Who's the real this and that? Like you got the enigma man, aka angry man, the clown that he is that y'all support, and all these other niggas. They they're clowns. <laughs> It's a clown show. It's clown shit. But they're not going to admit that they try to say this shit's still alive. It's been gone. Kevin Sayings don't count. They say he's the leader of the man. No, he's not. He's the leader of the modern day mainstream manosphere. And once he went away and passed away, uh, good riddance. And guess what they did to uh, Tate? Tate thought he was going to Tate don't care about no manosphere. He was on some other else. That right wing pro shit the counter fascism that didn't work now he's doing time in romania now you got austin holland gonna do go through the same fate this it's over you can't promote that shit ever again on the internet and this ain't this is on the internet on a small scale but imagine you it goes to the physical level they ain't ready for that they ain't ready for that but it's it's ball game check and mate the fuck up out of here man like I've yet to see people talk about what he did wrong, but yeah, he did a lot of things wrong. He should study the culture. Brazil's been on the downhill for the last four years. 
Hell, it's been it's been on the downturn since after the pandemic. Brazil's been destroyed. Costa Rica, nice country to visit, been destroyed if they did the uh, sex tourism. But we ain't gonna get into that sex tourism. That's irrelevant, you know. Both genders do sex tourism. They try to say they don't, but they do. I heard it from both sides. Shouts to the Nick Taylor for that. They all did that. They all did that. But the men, you know, the males, the niggas that ruined everything. You get what you get once you leave. Yeah, their disease up. Y'all got to understand. Y'all have the blame, too. So it's, the government don't care whose side y'all on. They're just reckless in the band. Don't trust anything they say because they losing their mind and losing power as we speak. It's collapsing. It's over. So in 2024, they're going to speak on this in 2024. See, 2023, y'all do do what y'all do in 2023. Do what y'all do. But in 2024, it is over. It is over because whoever's going president, he's going to clean all this shit up. It's over. I don't know who's going to be in politics, but you're going to see in 24, it's going to be a lot of changes next year. And I predicted this in 2021 that this ain't going to be it. There's going to be a lot of changes in 2024. You're going to be surprised how long you're going to see some changes. You can't trust either party, but somebody's going to change something and put this thing to bed. But I'm not saving these niggas either. I don't care for them like that. I don't fuck with them niggas like that. But I'm just saying it's over. Like ball game is ball game. They got to understand when you do stuff like this, it turns the reputation to us as men. And now we got to look at it like these dudes don't care. They're reckless in an abandonment. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, this may be a um, segue for that. But you got to understand something. A lot of times people get caught up into these things and they say, well, the passport is easy to get. Yes, it's easy to get, but you're not really doing anything. You're just messing it up for everybody. Like you got a young man at 23. I was coming out of the depression, trying to rebuild myself. For all the years I've been on medication for years, you know, when my grandmother passed away, that was years ago. I lived life. I lived a little bit. When I was 23 and trying to come into the knowledge, have my old channel, I was on this tip right here. And now, moving around as I speak at this age, in my 30 plus years, early 30 plus years, and I learned a lot after since the workplace, and I finally got the job later on in the rest of the years that I was in Atlanta, that thing changed. I've changed from, used to be a Christian, but I was hardcore in the scriptures as always. I, I'm still the same on that. But outside of that, I evolved. That's the only thing I changed outside. Of, I've still got the same personality and everything else. I'm still me, but I've changed how I look at things now since I got older. See, in my 20s, I was something else. But once I got to be in my 30s, man, that's a whole different ball game. I have a different perspective because I didn't see the workplace. I didn't see how people move and how people think. I do this. I do this. I talk about real situations and current events. And this one on where everybody's talking about current evently is these uh aka former only that known as lost bros. I call them fallen bros, aka passport bros, a silly ass thing that they create up. It, it I knew it was gonna backfire last year. I knew it was gonna backfire when I heard people kept saying that bullshit in 2020. I heard niggas was saying that shit uh in 2020 during the pandemic. It was on a low, and then next thing you know, it ruined it. Y'all shot yourself in the foot in 2023 and it's ball game. They check made you and they put the clothes and the cuffs on you and you up out of there. So it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing over there going after whores over there? They try to say they ain't going after whores. Yes, they are. They're, they're not going after women over there. Those are whores. Prostitutes. Let's call it what it is. Y'all desperate. You could have got that here, but they, they ain't got no actual game. No real finesse in their game. You know, that's what game is to me. It's all about finessing and getting in and whatever. But these dudes are delusional, falling for this rhetoric online, and, and there you are. But most of these talking points are bullshit to, to a T, and they, and they haven't lived out any one of those experiences. Ain't nobody believing that shit. That shit died. It has no merit. That's why these females don't care. They don't care. Just like the one that got interviewed by that dude 
uh, that hosted them, and then he hosted Dennis Spurman. Shouts to Ty C for that clip. Yeah, they had him on there on Fox. Fox ain't shit. Fuck Fox News. I mean, fixed news. Fuck them. Garbage jazz media. But that's what they do. Like, who cares? It's national for now, but it's, if it continues, people pick up the story, it's going to get worse. It might make it to CNN or all facets of life. But what, what they're going to do, some of these news people will double down in this shit. Watch what I tell you. They're going to protect the pedos, man. I'm trying to tell you, this country and the rest of the world protect pedos, man. Come on, man. The West, certain Western countries are going to protect them. And Brazil's going to look like the bad guy all of this. And that's why I don't listen to Tanya uh, TKO. I don't listen to her trash. She try to ask the weird questions to this woman, right? Shouts out to Nate for saying it. I can't. I don't mess with Tanya. Tanya's a clown. She's going to defend these niggas. But where was they in that interview on Fox? They leave. <laughs> That's why dudes call them pick me's. That's why they hate them on them now. Now, now it's war amongst them. Right now, we I've seen strains of war amongst them now. They're going crazy right now. They ain't got no protection. But that just goes to show you it's over. I said this in 2021. This shit is ball game. It is over. Fanito is out of there. It's out of the park. It's out of there. So we got to understand, this is the type of stuff we're dealing with. You can't just expect people to just go and forth and back and forth. What are they talking about? But that's the thing that we got to deal with right now. Now, if you're, if you're looking at a place to go, there's plenty of countries better than Brazil. I mean, learn the culture first before you dive into the vagina, man. Like, it's crazy. These dudes is crazy, man. That that but that lets you know how desperate man is. He's dangerous as to a T to a fault, and he will always gonna be dangerous if he don't stop. America, this Roman America, I'm gonna call it Roman American culture slash the elite top wants it this way. And number one, they promote desperate men and desperate women. So-called women, but known as whores now, but desperate men and women are dangerous to a T. Watch out for that. It's over. Like I said, that's all I got, man. It's ball game. It's out of here. It's just it's my thoughts on the situation with uh these fallen bros known as uh passport bros. That's why I call them. That's a nickname, but I always call them fallen bros. I always call them the fallen ones. They think they're the chosen one, but they're really the fallen ones that's going to fall and no more. So with that... Signing off, I'm going to say shalom, and I'm out. Until next time, peace.